Sfiso is hustling for customers outside one of Joburg's busiest academic bookstores, cutting deals with bursary students. It's a way of life and his daily fix. Sfiso and Michael are tangled in the underworld web of textbooks for cash, the middlemen. Me as a middleman, I get, I get like a person who is the card, a student, or the fundi card or Intel or whatever. I get here, I get, like, I, I get them a client, a client is using cash. So after that, the student buys the book for the client, and the client gives us cash in a discounted amount, and then they give me like a commission, and then they take the rest of the money. Yeah. The bookstore manager is well aware of Michael's dealings. It's a syndicate type of a style. They do it outside their store where you don't even notice that these guys are doing it. For those that are doing it inside their store, we catch these guys and we manage that we chase them out of their store actually. But for those that are, uh, are not doing it inside their store, there is no way that you can hold their store liable for it because we are not party to it actually. NSFAS students are the most uh, uh, corrupt ones because these are the ones that are carrying H loans in Telecard and SPAX and those ones are difficult to manage actually. How do you know that these guys are selling their cards? Yeah, I know them because I do walk around and then I can see how they operate and then I can see when they talk with the customers and then it's where I came in and then I say, oh, this guy is not allowed and then you have to go outside from the shop. These students can spend their bursaries how they please but UJ students are limited to food and books. Anasfas told us that it's a university problem and not theirs. We asked Michael if he's aware of the legal implications. Yeah, of course I am, of course. Yeah. Despite the legal implications, he refuses to stop. Man, man, little man. 